Hello, hello, happy new year, it's 2019, it's Bunny Flocks, I'm back, happy new year, I just want to wish everyone a happy new year, don't get too used to me having this festive stuff like this in my background, I figure I should just do something nice because it is the first, January 1st, 2019, first two Tuesday of the year, first video of the year, um, hype, I'm ready to, to keep making these, keep putting these out, keep studying, keep learning, keep progressing, and so that's what I'm going to do, so um, for the first first video of the year, we got Hashcat. I'm gonna talk about Hashcat, password cracking uh, tool in Kali Linux. It comes native to Kali Linux. I'm gonna show you a few things with it. I'm gonna make some uh, MD5 hashes. I'm gonna use Hashcat to crack them. I'm gonna talk about the tool a little bit, um, and that's gonna be two Tuesday for today. I'm trying to keep it quick. It is New Year's. It's supposed to be relaxing. I've been in front of this computer probably for most of the day. I got my son here. He's playing Fortnite with his cousin online. Uh, and then tomorrow's back to work for me. So it is what it is. The grind continues. 2019, so let's go. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and open up our terminal here. Make this a nice size so you can see everything. First thing, very first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, navigate to my Tool Tuesday directory just to keep everything nice and neat before we get into hashcat i'm just going to create a few uh patches i'm gonna I'm create some passwords i'm gonna hash them using md5 algorithm and i'm gonna put them in a text file uh to do that uh, we're gonna use the native md5 sum uh and awk or awk commands really quick and throw those in a text file uh, now, so let's see, let's see, I'm gonna do echo. So you're gonna be able to see the password. Um, normally in the real world, obviously, you'll, you know, if you do a hash dump from a Windows machine or whatever, you'll see the hash and you won't know the password. But in this case, for the for the purposes of the video, we're going to know the passwords just to make sure everything's working fine. Uh, so I'm gonna create a password here. I'm just gonna do a couple of variations. I'll keep it simple. We'll do password. We're gonna pipe this to MD5 some yeah and pipe this out to awk so we're gonna do awk tack squiggly line i don't really know what that thing is called print dollar sign one and this is just to print the first field uh awk has a tendency to add a a space and a dash or something I, you know I've, I've tried this already and i'm i'm just trying to keep it clean and just keep the hash uh pretty clean in the text file uh so we'll close this squiggly do that and we'll put it in a, oops, hash, we'll call this hashes.txt. Uh, let's cat hashes.txt just to make sure our, there's our, our first hash. It's obviously, it was just password. We can see that. We just made that. I'm going to add a few more, and then we're going to get started. I have a hash file. It's called hashes.txt. Now we're going to get into hashcat. So hashcat, uh, as we stated, is a uh, password cracking hash password I should say hash cracking password tool um, it takes usually or it takes four arguments at a minimum you can add five and we're going to talk about that here also um, let's take a look at uh, the help file which greatly you should always want to read you should always read the manuals read uh, the wikis read all that stuff to get in-depth knowledge about a tool for in this right here we're going to do hashcat space tag tag help to get uh, some basic information about this and we'll go over this uh, maximize this okay so this is the usage the hashcat options and then all the uh, parameters so the first uh, option that we're going to use is uh, tech M for the hash type um, you you definitely need this when you're you're using hashcat you have to know in this case obviously we know it's MD5 I use MD5 when I created the hashes there can be other types, SHA-1, there can be Windows NT. If you scroll down to the hash modes, um, this is basically a list of the hash types Hashcat can, can crack. Um, so obviously there's a huge number here. Um, and then what you want to take note of is the number to the left of the name. Uh, so you, as you can see here, MD5 is 0, uh, SHA-1 is 100. If you're doing Windows NT, uh, I believe Windows NT is a thousand, so maybe we can find that. It's here somewhere. Uh, anyway, you get the gist. So 
you want to know the number that corresponds to your hash algorithm. So obviously in this case, ours is going to be zero. So that's the first parameter. So let me uh, let me open up another tab and start the command here. So we're going to do hash cat tag m and we're going to put zero because we know we're working with MD5. Um, the next thing we want to do, well, the next parameter, so we have the hash type. The next parameter we need is the attack mode uh, here. See attack mode. Um, let's come down, scroll to the attack modes. <clears throat> That's right here. We have uh, four here, or five. We have straight, combination, brute force, and hybrid with mask, and mask with a word list. Uh, we're going to use straight and combination, mostly probably combination. Uh, straight is just basically... It, it, it basically tries to find a straight match, uh, capital for capital, word for word, number for number, and it doesn't combine combinations such as numbers and, and uppercase and symbols and all that. So uh, we're going to use combination, which will do that for us, because obviously, if you remember in my hash file, I created some passwords or, or the password list with uppercase and lowercase. So we're going to use one. So attack mode is going to be one for this instance. So we'll jump back to here, attack, and then one. So we have our first two parameters. So the next uh, parameter we're going to need in the next field is a file. Um, we already know my file is uh, hashes.txt. So we're going to put that there. This is obviously this field is the, uh, the hash dump or the text file of your hashes. Then after this, we're going to use our word list. Uh, if you look back to my video on word lists, uh, you know, we have rocku.txt, we have secless. There's so many wordless out there, it's not even funny. You can spend so much time utilizing different wordless to see how far you get when you're cracking hashes. Uh, but for purposes of this video, we're going to just use a rocku text, and that is in user share wordless and rocku.txt. We're going to keep that pretty simple. Um, and before I run this, just a few things. There's two more things I want to talk about rules. Hashcat has this functionality where you can just choose a rule set. And what this does is, is it applies uh, a permutation to the actual functionality or uh, you know the calculations. So, for instance, um, if you just if we just run this command, uh, Hashcat is, is going to just take the rocku.txt file, run it, run those words in the hash, and it's not really going to apply any type of permutations. You know, adding numbers in, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, substituting, uh, you know, let's say a capital, an S for a dollar sign for the symbols. So adding rules helps Hashcat provide those substitutions and, and, you know, use that functionality to basically increase your chances of cracking the hash. So we're going to use a rule set um, and I'm going to show you how to find that. I'm going to open up another, oops, what did I just do? I'm going to open up another uh, window here and I'm going to locate the basically uh, the hashcat rule sets come in a folder with a dot rule uh, extension so we're going to locate that here um, I don't remember I didn't remember where it was but you can see his user share hashcat rules and these are all the basically the rules that you can use um, you can do your you know your research on on see what's the best one for the best rule for your current situation I know for, for the purposes of this video, we're going to use best 64. Uh, so I'm going to just copy this location here. Copy this, come back to the command. And uh, I'm going to put it here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back. In order to use a rule for, you know, in a hash cat command, you have to use the tech R option which is rule and then paste your location of the uh, the rule here so now we have uh, basically we have about six we have six uh, parameters here six arguments we have our MD5 uh, hash type we have attack mode as combination and we have rule attack R for the rule we're gonna use rule set and we have the location of the rules we have the file the hash file and then we have the word list. Um, and then one more thing, because obviously I did my research before taping this video. For my, for for whatever reason, uh, on my virtual machine, um, Hashcat spits out this this error about uh, 
the device that it's, it, it uses for the calculations. Um, but I have a really strong graphics card, but for whatever reason, my graphics card is not being utilized in the Cali VM. So it's going to use the CPU. So in order for it to do that, I have to basically force it to use uh, the CPU that the VM is using. So I had to do a Hashcat tech tech force just so it actually runs the, the Hashcat program. This may be the same for you. I'm not sure, depending on your setup, you know, laptop, hardware, desktop, whatever you're using. Just understand uh, I'm doing this for, for purposes of my system and working out of VM. Uh, Hashcat does work on Windows. It does work on Mac. It does obviously works on Linux. So if you're using uh, Hashcat, let's say you have a, a real operating system on uh, your, you know, your laptop and you're not using a virtual machine, uh, Hashcat will automatically either be able to utilize your CPU or your GPU, obviously because the hardware is there being utilized by the operating system. So we got everything we need. We're going to run this command here. We're going to hopefully it's going to work. And check that out. Okay, so here we go. Um, the use of rules is only allowed in attack mode zero. So I'm just going to run that back. Oh, because we have rules, we don't need to 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 notif you know to use combination. We're going to use zero, which is straight. And I guess uh, the rules. It's going to basically do the uh, permutations of all the hashing. So there you go. Let's try this again, see how that works. So you can see here um, it's starting to work. It's doing a status. It's already cracked two easy ones. It, it cracked the password and the thank you. Um, if you look at the top, we have the OpenCL platform. Device number one is so it's using the, my PC, my core uh, i7, which is my CPU. Okay, so it seems like Hashcat was only able to recover two. It gave us a password and thank you. So I'm going to play around with my parameters, see why I didn't get the other password. Okay, so let's see if uh, we got an issue with the rule. Let's see if we can find a different rule to use. Let's use this combinator rule and see if that helps us out with those. All right, <clears throat> this is running again. Yeah, buddy. 2019. And there you have it. We got the three uh, three passwords we hashed. Um, that's, again, that was really, really just a, a really quick Hashcat overview. Again, first tool Tuesday of the year. Um, do appreciate you guys for subscribing and watching and liking. Um, Happy New Year. Hope your 2018 was the best it could be. And I want to wish a uh, happy new year on the rest on all you guys um, as i stated if you like the videos please like share subscribe i'll be seeing you guys soon thank you and appreciate you